Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Slab Factory, powered by Dash Radio. We're gonna do a little after hours, a little after hours, Savage AF. We're gonna continue to talk about the debate. We're gonna wait for you guys to jump back on. Uh, jump back on all you motherfuckers, all you, all you niggas, all, I, I will put cases on all you motherfuckers, if you don't jump back on, I'm putting cases on, I'm, you're gonna end up in Pelican Bay, if you don't, so, no, uh, make sure that you guys tell your friends, 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 check us out, what's up, what's up, Miss Unique, um, Pedro's gonna jump back on after he finishes pinning that up, and we're gonna jump back on and do another little bit of time, because we want to talk about the COVID situation, we want to talk about that clusterfuck. And that was what it was, a clusterfuck pertaining to that debate. That debate was one of the worst shit I've ever seen. It was like a train wreck, and you see your grandma waving out the window like, Oh shit, save me, son, save me. And like, Grandma, you about to die. That shit was horrible, horrible, horrible. Savage AF back in the building. Um, when Sa um, Pedro jumps on, we will get it started with the other information we wanted to give you today. We want you to share it with as many of your friends, friends, friends. Oh, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a favor, everybody. My old ass needs a favor and I need you to do it. You come right out of a comic book, Mr. Hand Man. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Why do y'all know Enter the Dragon? Get the fuck out of here. I thought I was the only one to do Enter the Dragon. That's one of the best. All right, P Pedro's going to co-sign hey. this for me. Uh, yeah. Enter the Dragon is one of the best kung fu karate movies of all time. Somebody's like, you come right out of a comic book, Mr. Hand Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh, uh, does anybody know who that was, though? I bet you don't know who that was. Who was the person that said this shit? I know who it was. In, uh, in, um... Enter the Dragon. He had Enter a... The he was actually one of the, he was the third lead star. Was that uh, Jim Jim Kelly? Jim Kelly. Yeah. His name was Jim Kelly. He yeah. actually did, he had Black Belt Jones. He had a whole run of karate movies. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. And he would go, instead of going, wah! He would go, oi, oi. And he would hit people. It was Jim Kelly. No, it made, me, it made me mad when they jumped him in, in the movie. Uh, and and they came after him because because he got set up. They thought it was Bruce. I mean, they thought they it was it was. This ain't no spoiler alert. Like the movie's made in the goddamn seventies. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't be telling all the ending. Fuck you if you ain't seen it. But um, you know they they go to the secret island for a kung fu tournament, a karate a martial arts tournament. Or that, yeah, that was that was actually the plot. But, but Bruce was sent there as a as a, as an agent to investigate nefarious activities uh and, and with, the girl, night, with the girls that were being kidnapped yeah and went out there and and and, and went out one night and when you weren't supposed to be out and and, and that what they saw was jim kelly black man afro standing on his patio or whatever some shit and he saw bruce sneaking around he ain't snitch bruce went out started some trouble then they came at the black man like yeah we saw you outside last night he's like nigga what i ain't do shit and i didn't do shit that wasn't me and then they jumped that nigga, man. That was fucked up. Yeah. They, but, but you know what? He wasn't the first person to get killed, which was good. He, no, wasn't, he wasn't the first person. He wasn't the first. He, he made it all the way through. Wasn't to, the to, last. Almost to the end. Almost to the end of the movie. And then, um, but then Bruce Lee killed a bunch of people. <laughs> but think about it. He didn't get killed because Bruce Lee killed about 15 people in the, in the, in the, down in the dungeon. If you've seen Enter the Dragon, down in the dungeon. And because he was snapping motherfuckers' necks and beating them with poles and, and, and noonchucks. So, yeah, there was a lot of people that died. At least the black man didn't die first. Because my favorite the black part man is, died first. My favorite part was when they just closed off uh, all the doors and trapped Bruce Lee in that little corridor for a minute. And he was like, hmm. And just, met, just <laughs> sat down and meditated like, I'm going to whoop your ass when you open that door, though. Like, <laughs> I see I can't get out but when you open that door, nigga. I'm, I'm gonna kicking rested. everybody's ass. Focus. <laughs> I'm gonna refocus yeah, myself. Everybody, man. everybody, everybody's right. getting their ass kicked after I get out of here. Everybody, I'm kicking everybody's ass. I'm kicking your, yes, you nigga, with, you without the hand, I'm gonna kick you, I'm gonna take your <laughs> hand off, I'm gonna shove it up your motherfucking ass. That's what I'm gonna do. This nigga, he broke in there and brought a snake with him <laughs> and then and threw it into the guard shack. You, you know remember what's that? weird? What? He, had a, he brought a snake in the bag. And then let a snake loose in the guard shack. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, the cobra. Right. No, he caught the cobra. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, 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 yeah, he was dead. It was a, it was a, it was a it was a um there's a king cobra which yeah. I'm like did they use a it's real king cobra? cobra? You know king cobras are other than I think it's the uh mamba mamba black mamba black mamba are one of the most poisonous R. snakes R. ever. Yeah, yeah, not Kobe, but um that like if one of those bites you, you got about 5 minutes. No, that's what they said. They like their venom is so strong it's just like well, you what do you want to do? Eh, I'm going to lay here. Nah. You, you better find uh, Kimosabi to uh, <laughs> suck that shit out. Yeah. Get poison out. Yeah. Right, so. I mean, I bet, you, I bet you if some dude sucked poison out of me, every time I look at him, he's like, nigga, don't look at me that way. Because he that's one of, that's feel one funny. My favorite, that's one of my favorite old jokes, dog. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell it for you guys here since we're doing it after dark. Uh, and I, I, I usually don't do joke book jokes, but this is the one that I love. It's a... Uh, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, you know, they're, they're, they're out on the range. You know what I mean? Lone Ranger needs to take a piss. So he goes off into the bushes, takes a piss. Fucking rattlesnake jumps out, bites him on the dick, right? He runs out. So Tonto, a snake bit me on my dick. I need you to ride into town, ask the doctor, what do we do to save my life? Tonto rides into town fast as he can, right? Goes to the doctor. Doctor says, uh, what you need to do for a snake bite is... Um, cut a piece of the skin off and then suck the poison out, right? Remember, Lone Ranger got bit on his dick. Tonto rides back to Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger's like, Tonto, what did the doctor say? Tonto said, doctor said, you're gonna die. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he ain't about to suck the dick out the poison, you know what I'm saying? Or the poison out the dick. That's, I'm yeah, just, y'all I'm, get to see the poison is in the dick and he don't want to do it. He don't want to suck so. the dick, so... That's why I don't do right. joke book jokes, but I do love that joke. But that was a good joke. Uh, joke. Um, what, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Check it out. I pinned it down there, so make sure you all tell your friends, friends, friends to subscribe. I'm going to go on the page right now, and you motherfuckers better subscribe. I swear to God. You know, well, that's when you get the old man, black man voice. Look here, nigga. If you don't subscribe, <laughs> you're going to no, get ramifications <laughs> and repercussions. Repercussions. Yes, sir. Uh, ramifications <laughs> and repercussions. What's wrong with your generation? So YouTube. Yeah, it's all you got to do is search Savage A um Savage AF podcast. Ooh, That's it. Shawnee in the building. Shawnee in the building. She just I can suck the poison out. Hey girl. Watch that. Now, now, there you I'll go. I'll go find a snake. I'll go find a snake. Okay, you know what? I'm nasty like that. You know uh, what? I might end up I might end up Oh shit. Our, our shit is the first shit to come up. That's the thug life. Um okay. kill it. But we need more, you know what? We need 33 more subscribers. So all you motherfuckers, that is a good joke. All you motherfuckers. All more. you motherfuckers. 33 million more. All yeah, you that's motherfuckers. What we need. All yeah. you niggas. We need you to do that for sure, you know? Um, that's what it is. Make man. sure you subscribe to it. Also, if you want to do me a favor, follow at Black Pedro. Follow the people that are jumping on hey, and hey, the people that are already on. Yeah, thanks, guys. You know, I try to do my best. I try to make it happen. I stay um, Yo, and, and also I looked up some other stuff pertaining to the debate. They said that it did actually swing it even more in the favor of Biden by three points. So, which is substantial. Which Absolutely. is substantial. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because, yeah, we, we were ending talking about these undecided voters from our, our first hour tonight, uh, and it is September 30th, 2020 still, uh, before we get into October. Uh, by the way, here in California, we are six days away from voting, okay? Or I believe five days at this point, because uh, it is the 5th on Monday. Monday is the 5th. We can start voting Monday is the 5th. In California. No, no, no. On Monday. Yes. All right. It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, so let's do that, y'all. Let's do this, man. Let's get this. Let's get it out. Let's get out there and vote, man. Um, so... The one thing we didn't get to before we get into whatever else we want to here on Savage AF After Dark uh, <clears throat> is peeling back this onion that is the COVID-19 pandemic uh, right. and the, way, the, the various ways it's affected America to the over 7 million cases, to the over 200,000 deaths, to our, you know, one-fifth of the world's deaths as a, due, to this, uh, due to this virus. Um, our America. It's America, dead, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's America. Fucked, fucked, yeah. <laughs> That's what we Yeah. Um, so 
we have this situation where it's obviously created a, a, it's had a financial backlash as well, which was odd. It was really odd to see last night Trumpy Dumpty bring up H one N one that pandemic and and try to say that the Obama Biden administration did so poorly when although it's a lot of people, fourteen thousand people died from H one N one. The economy yes. never shut down. LeBron James oh. didn't have to win a championship inside of a Ziploc bag in the middle of Florida. <laughs> right. Okay. They didn't have to. Yeah, you didn't have to. You didn't have to do stand-up comedy in a fishbowl. Um, it, or you know, goddamn draws in your fucking living room anymore. You right. Know, like, and a Zoom show, which I'm going to be doing or, some of those coming. I'm I'm on one tomorrow. I'm on a Zoom show tomorrow. Or, no, tomorrow. In a parking in a parking lot, right, of a fucking parking garage or some shit, right, like. Like, none of this sh shit happened with H1N1, but Trumpy Dumpty last night literally brought that shit up. Like, you guys did a horrible job with H1N1. I'm like, nigga, you had, you, you had on a quarter mil deaths right now, don't like. Right, but they're saying it's not fair to, 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 to blame like, me. Uh, 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 like, that's and, yeah, no, like, yeah. Kill the mic, there was a... kill the mic, kill him. Kill him. Cut the lights off. Cut the, the lights off. <laughs> Somebody wanted to yell fire. It was so bad. Way, that debate was so see, bad. Did y'all see the image it, real quick before I move on <laughs> with the rest of the story? Of There was a shot, a close-up shot of in, in the middle of the Trump. Yeah, he, a metal plate thing. Some kind of thing. A spoon. I don't know if he left a spork back there or... It was... It was, that's a, how he gets the neur it, so he it was a neuron inhibitor. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was a uh, frontal... It was a, it was a digital lobotomy that he has constantly attached uh, to cut off his frontal lobe. Um, yeah. But uh, speak, uh, speak. Uh, Nikki underscore F FCU uh, Monday, FSU. Uh, October FSU. 5th. FSU, uh, October 5th. I'll be back on. When you're going back, uh, I, okay, I, October 5th, you're going to be on Quake's house? The same yeah, day I'm doing we, the we start voting here? Go do it. Do it. Yeah, and they also, what they do is, which is real cool, Quake don't give a fuck. Uh, Quake lets us promote this show on his show. That's how chill the motherfucker is. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Kane Garlene, uh, she's like, what? Like, yeah. I, I saw this post from Sean King, by the way, where it was like, AJ Fitz said hair clip. Like, bruh, I don't want to see none of that from my president. By the way, the New York Times shit said he spent $70,000 on, on hair styling. And then Anthony Scaramucci, wow. his former director of communications, was like, no, nah, he does his own hair. That's just comb over. He was like, he spends a lot. He doesn't want anybody to see him comb it from his ass crack up his back <laughs> over to the front right. of his head. That's ass hair. By the time he gets up here, <laughs> that is ass crack hair. But no, they the said it was, it, was, it was pubic hair. It was pubic hair he let grow real long. He combs it up his ass, uh, over his back, to his front. So called, uh, Those are called taint locks. It, they're taint locks. Right. It's the hair from between your balls and ass, and then he he he, he locks them up to the and then sprays the shit into place with I don't know. Um, it, yeah, but the, the, this is the thing is that I, that was the thing with Biden with in, in the thing. I thought he could have hit him harder with the seven hundred fifty dollars that he paid seven hundred and fifty dollars in taxes twice, and the other time in ten years he didn't pay none uh, federal income tax. And so eighteen years paid none. Yeah, yeah. He, he he basically got away with it, and he says, "Well, because he's smart." Uh, he said, "Because he's smart." That's what he said in the debate when he was on there with Hillary. And this time, he tried to, you know, clutch way back and forth because he's a bitch and he lied. What's up, Lisa? Jazz. Um, Jazz. But All right. I think that Biden could have went harder in the paint with that. And when they were talking about the pandemic, Biden did make some good points. <laughs> it's just it got drowned it out by the bullshit right. of him yelling. And like, you, what did you do? What did you do? I know you are, but what am I? I know you yeah. are, but what am I? Shut the fuck never. up. Shut so, up. I, I, I've never have. Did, now, did you think this, Pedro? Honestly, everybody here on Savage, did you watch the TV and just look and think, why don't he shut the fuck up? I said that has, in my like, head about four times. He has to. He has to. Like you said, he has to distract uh, because he, he has no focus on any real issue. He's not ready to touch on anything real about the American people or what they need. So sticking with the pandemic, right? Um, and we, we've touched on this earlier in, in, in the earlier shows about um, how the, the rich are getting richer during this time, right? Like 
able to save an exorbitant amount of money. I think something in the three hundred billion dollar range. It's three hundred billion dollars. It was a little bit over three hundred billion dollars by the end of this year. It'll it's be a billion almost million, four I can remember. billion. Yeah, that's what. Would it be billion? <laughs> would it be? Yeah. Um, but, but that being said, the, yeah, it, it, it's obviously then affecting uh, 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 other demographics uh, in an opposite and unequal way. Um, so. I'm, I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to read. This is straight from a uh, Washington. Is this Washington? Yeah, Washington Post article, right? It says, while the nation overall has regained nearly half of the, the lost jobs, which isn't a, isn't a job gain, right? The, the, the administration is going to try and spin that as we've gained jobs. But really, you've just filled in the hole, right? Like a bit. Yeah. But those those aren't gains. Those are Those are just, you know, <clears throat> trying to get back to zero. <clears throat> uh, so while the nation overall has regained nearly half of the lost jobs, several key demographic groups have recovered more slowly, including mothers of school-aged children, probably right. small population, right? <laughs> small, black, no, the, minute, minute. Black, Let's keep that word. Right, black, minute population, black men, black women, Hispanic men, Asian Americans, which is just a, a broad, right? Like that's a yeah. broad swath of people. That could be a bunch of different people. And then younger Americans, which are ages 25 to 34 and people without college degrees. Um, by the list I just, I'm gonna go through it real quickly once again. Mothers of school aged children, black men, black women, Hispanic men, Asian Americans, yep. younger Americans and people without college degrees. Nigga, that's Americans. That's everybody. Yeah. That's America. But, but this is the thing. Um, yeah, when you look Americans. at how the pandemic affects people of color, <laughs> that is Americans. That's Americans. Uh, it, it affects people of color. And I think that that's part of the thing that these racist bitch ass want. They wanted, they wanted to look at it like, um, well, the support, the portion that it is getting hit the hardest, maybe that's a good thing. That's what, um, Two of the people from the white nationalist group said, this is not me saying that. They fucking said it. And I was like, damn, man, I wish the giant would just rub his balls on these fucking people. I just like that. Imagine that. Just the giant just grab his balls and squish your face between them. You'll never smell the same. You think you'll, you think you will. You're not going to watch Guan, off, What's up, Rasta Lion Ed? What, what a Guan Wire. I'm Misa, brother. Yeah. That's my man. Yeah. That's my man. But that's my man in there right there. They don't even fucking see, know. Um, see, but they're they, just like, why are, these, why are these niggers making all that funny noise? Um, there, there, oh, y'all y'all, subscribing. I'm looking at the subscribers go up. We got we seven people that. that just subscribed. Thank you very much. We need you, we need 23 more. All y'all subscribe. Everybody million. that jumps on this bitch, subscribe. 20 million more. 20 million. I'm sorry. 20, <laughs> <laughs> you keep changing it to a million. million. We need million. 20 million. We need million. 70 billion people. We need a million. We need a million more. Hmm. Ciba 313 said, we living, in the, we living in the movie Idiocracy for real. This shit's sad as fuck. Uh, you know, I'm going to argue with you, Ciba, that President Camacho was way more fun than this motherfucker right here, right? <clears throat> like, at least with the outfits and the women around him, you, you felt like this was a dude you could party with. But, and I felt like he had a little bit more game than just grab him by the pussy. So I'm, 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 I, if I had to, I'd vote President Camacho, played by Terry Crews, uh -huh. who has cooned out on several occasions. Um, several I'd, occasions. I'd, 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 vote for, I'd vote for President Camacho over Trumpy Dumpty all day. Very day, but we are in the idiocracy, yeah. man. Um, so no, uh, people, see, and someone see, else said we're living in Hunger Games. It's it's basically okay. Hunger Games. I'm looking so, at who said it. So let's stay with that. Here, here, here's a, a few more stats for y'all. So, like, like we said, some people are suffering greater than others. That's the truth. Yeah, again, that's again, the truth right again. I'm, I'm just going to read directly from this article, Washington Post. Right. This is with regard with regards to the recession and and recovery. Uh, as a due, uh, due to the uh, COVID recession. White women, for example, have recovered 61% of the jobs they lost, the most of any demographic group, while black women have recovered only 
according to Labor Department data through August. Right. And, and workers with college degrees are 55% recovered compared with less than 30, 40% uh, for workers with high school degrees. So <clears throat> education is obviously a factor, but there's obviously this other thing uh, that has to do with ah, uh, cracker bullshit, skin color, race, right? That is, um, you know, we see that white women have co have recovered more quickly, like almost to the tune of double. Well, yeah, they, than yeah. Black I mean, not completely. Yeah, I mean, they they feel like they deserve it more than we do. I mean, it, it, everybody tries to act like we're always playing a race card. Some people hit me up on Facebook about this show, saying that uh, me and Pedro are always playing the race card. Don't you understand? It's what's happening for real. I play the hand huh? I'm dealt. I play the hand ooh, I am dealt. Ooh, ooh, That's ooh, it. Ooh, ooh. These Shots are the fired. cards in front of us. No, I'm saying, yeah, we're not playing right, the race right, card. Right, this, the, this the, race, race, was, race was invented by Europeans. Okay, the idea of hierarchizing races, people dividing people by skin color and placing themselves on top is a European construct. It is. A, it has been a, a, a global infection that you have that you have colonized this planet with. But don't give me that race card shit, okay? We didn't yeah, make this shit you. up. We did not invent the idea of race. Nobody went around spreading this except for Europeans, okay? And then they became European Americans. But it doesn't matter. It is a Euro construct. Right. We talk it's, about it, it's, Western. It's a, it's a, we talked about the Proud Boys in the last hour, and we and they and they call themselves Western chauvinists. Okay, the Western is white. Okay, and one of the things that we're talking about right now in terms of this COVID recession, one of the demographics I did not name that has been affected are white men. Okay, so fuck your race card. Yeah. Stop dealing stop dealing race decks and niggas won't talk about race cards. Okay? Because right, exactly. the deck, and you the gotta deck look is at... colorized, the deck is colorized, it's divided, it's hierarch it's hierarchized, right? You know? A three isn't worth as much as a ten or a jack or a queen right. or a king, right? The thing is, you never dealt us any jacks, queens, or kings, or any aces, right? Aces were wild. And, and you know, and you know for for a fucking fact, when Trump says stand stand back and stand by, he wasn't saying that to anybody black. He wasn't saying that to anybody black. He was saying that to the Proud Boys, is racist, fucking racist, and xenophobic um, organization that likes to you know basically start shit and start fights. But I hope that they run into the uh, the you know not fucking around coalition and get their ass ventilated because they ain't gonna run up and start fist fighting these motherfuckers. They gonna get blasted, and that's the first thing. Second thing with the COVID situation, the fact that we don't we're the we're on the front lines the most. When you look at the front line workers, it's people of color that are the ones trying to save people, and then those are the people that are actually getting infected and getting fucked over the most. So when Trump tries to say that, especially in that bitch ass horrible fucking debate that everybody saw was a piece of shit. Shit, when he shit. says anything like that, and he tries to bring up, well, what about Ebola? What about, shut the fuck up. You have completely shown huge levels of incompetence pertaining to this, and the only reason you did that is you didn't want the stock market to fucking crash on you, so you kept fucking pushing it back, saying, no, I don't even know it. There's only going to be two people. It's going to be gone by Easter. It's going to be gone. At you did that because of that, because you're more and more worried about money than American people, and you could suck a dead donkey's dick. And anybody that votes for Trump right now, I mean, that after seeing that shit last night, if you vote for Trump, you the bitch ass motherfucker, and you need your ass thrown down some cement steps, and then somebody to get some tap dance shoes, and then kick you in the eye while they dancing. Fuck you, you know and your family. You know what I'm saying? You you just you just made me think of cement escalators, where you could you could push them down the up escalator and then watch them fall down cement steps all day yeah they're just such a cement escalator right and then, then but to see, when you look at what he tried he didn't even he tried to avoid talking about COVID, even though COVID is the, the the number one thing in the news even though right now this debate is trending like crazy and so is the you know what's trending that biden said you got the wrong guy on the wrong night in the wrong place or some shit like that they said that's trending Good i'm shit. like and he should come hey. out wear a t-shirt Wrong guy, wrong night, 
fuck you, orange stick man. And that's what he should do. So, um, somebody said they should just speak, fist fight. Speaking of speaking of trending, uh, Ross Lion Eight says, "Brethren, this show need a podcast. Brethren, this show have a podcast now. All right, all you need to do is go to wherever you get your podcast and look up Savage AF. I'm gonna go Savage. into my Trini accent. I'm gonna go into my Trini accent because me, me not Jamaican, so me ain't gonna go." Boy, go down to the J, to the iTunes, Google Play, <laughs> Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Stitcher. Spotify, Spot, 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 Spotify. Spotify. Dude, yeah, you uh, can subscribe. Yo, Ross. We already a podcast. Yo, Ross, that's my people. Ross, Yo, Ross. Ross. Yes, Ross. Ma Ross, make sure that you go. And also, I I'm on the Savage AF um, on our YouTube channel. You can check out past shows on the Savage AF YouTube channel. Um, so far tonight. We've had 18 people sign, subscribe. I need more than that. I need y'all to go to the YouTube channel, subscribe to Savage AF Podcast. Just put in Savage AF Podcast and subscribe. I want us to hit, before we do this hour, because we're already like, damn, we're already 32 minutes into the hour. I want you to subscribe by the end of this. I want to be at 100 people. Let's go, y'all. I need 100 Let's go. people. Subscribe. Let's go. Let's go. Don't quit fucking around. Now, everybody that saw the, the debate, when they were talking about COVID, if you look at what the news said after that, basically the news fact-checked him to the fucking ground and just smashed him to the ground pretending to COVID and the bitch shit he said. But the fact that it is affecting people of color is something that we have to be aware of, and that's why we that don't want to vote need to go out and vote this motherfucker out because he does not like you. It is what Kanye West said about Bush, but it applies to Trump. Trump don't like black people. He uses them as props. He uses them yeah. to say, hey, I know this other famous person. That is it. Nothing else. And for you, for the black people that keep supporting him and blacks for Trumps, all you motherfuckers need to get your ass beat. All right? Where's Django when you need him to kill all these mm -hmm. slave ass fucking, you know, who that nigga on the nag niggas? We need y'all your, your ass beat. That's hey. bullshit. Vote, vote, Back vote. Home. Trump, Biden said it best. He kept trying to ignore him and said, listen, I'm not going to talk about this clown. I'm looking at you, the American people. Vote. He kept putting his hands like this to try to shield <laughs> all the orange Cheeto dust. Blinders. That kept Blinders. flying. Yes, he did do that. He kept doing that. And that worked to a point. But then Trump would just not shut the fuck Beast up. Mode. Oh, I wanted to smack his ass in the head with a fucking brick. Oh, so, yeah, break. I mean, you know, I think I think the top the, the all of the topics we talked tonight I, I, are are really about awareness on an individual level. Right. So, like, understand that understand what the Proud Boys mean in your life. OK. Right. We, we we've talked about uh, the election of, of 1876. Right. Where basically this country, in order to avoid another civil war compromise black people's safety we know that right. the 13th amendment still allows for legal slavery and we know that we've been over prosecuted and over penalized police in, well, in over the, in police. it's the three p's they, they said that over prosecuted over persecuted over police yeah we have been and, policed more than anyone else and a a aj fit said aj fit 365 said tangerine hitler and it is his fault that it has increased. And um, I saw Bernie Sanders on the Late Show, and he said that um, hate crimes pertaining to Jews has increased since yeah. Trump's been in office. No, they, um, they listen. The Asians are under attack because it's the China virus, and you know these crackers. Hey, it's not no China, but so you you can't like pick on Chinese people about it, especially Chinese Americans. Um, but they'll just pick any Asian because they don't understand the difference between Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Thai, any of that shit, Korean, whatever. So, like, they're, they're not doing any of that, right? So, there, there's vi violence in this country is increasing along, along racial lines. And it's right. because, you know, it, it's, it's, it's cracker time. Cracker time is back. It never stops. You know, they lay low for as long as they could. <laughs> They've done what they can legislatively and judicially and um, 
in terms of enforcement militarily, we'll just say. Um, but now they're like, you know, like I said earlier, they they are the these improperly raised racial pit bulls, you know, that yeah. are hungry for meat, have a taste for blood, and are out there doing this. So I think all all that we've talked about tonight, you know, especially starting with the Proud Boys, is this this you know, a real thing to like get get ready for something, guys. Like don't just sit back and be like I don't know what's going on. Or I, why can't we just pray or sing? Or, you know, the Lord going to protect me. The Lord is not going to protect you. That's not even your Lord. That's their Lord that they made up. All right? So All right. get yourself ready to do, to do, get with other people, prepare supplies, do some shit. But understand that there, go there, down. There is, I mean, I, I, I don't know that it is, but if it does, do not be sitting here like, what do I do now? Like, have a plan. Have Dude, I don't understand. Plan. What's happening? Please. What do I do? Please. I don't understand. You, you know what else you need to do? I never, you, saw I, mean, that. I never thought this country would ever, like, no, nigga, this country would like, always yeah. about and, and, always and, and also, gun ownership. We talked about gun ownership yesterday. Pedro is real responsible about how he's going about it. But I'm going to tell you right now, the way the Proud Boys are organizing, the fact that they are sending out, because of Trump, and this is no other reason. It's because of Trump. Now they are, are basically going out and recruiting even more people. They're taking biker gangs that were already leaning towards that. And they're going to, like, make them be part of the Proud Boys. And this is not shit that's coming out of my mind and I'm making up and shit like this. This is what's going on. If you look at a lot of the fucking protests, the Proud Boys come there purposely to get their knuckle on. They get their knuckle on. Now, they haven't shot. I don't know if there it was. There was one person killed when the, with the Proud Boys, and it wasn't one of the protests. It was actually the opposite side. But right now, the, the Trump flat out said it in the, in the fucking shit show we called a debate. It was a shit show, and you fucking know it. It was a horrible fucking debate. If you did see the debate, and if you haven't seen the debate, you can look at the clips on YouTube and online. Um, he actually called out basically a racist organization to fuck you over. So if you ain't gonna get ready now, I don't know when it's time to get ready because this motherfucker is coming for you right now. And they're coming for you. Um, and and you, you can say that, again, here we go with the... But Savage AF is playing the race card again. Um, but I'm telling you, that's not the case. It's not the case at all. You know, and it, we have people that always get on here and that um, they jumped uh, Eve and Miss Adverb jumped publicity mag who is uh, one of our trolls, one of our Trump trolls. And we had a couple other Trump trolls that jumped on here and they got so beat up by Eve and they got so beat up by Miss Adverb and a AJ Fit and the people, they, they haven't been back today. So it's a good thing. It's a good, it's a good thing we ain't got to deal with that. It's, it's you fun. getting your it's wine fun. on. Yeah, you know what I mean, dirty wine. It's fun to watch uh, the audience get at each other some nights. Uh, Cause y'all really, y'all really go hamburger on a motherfucker. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and and by the way, anybody think I'm bullshitting? You look at some of the footage from Charlottesville. I know that it was a while ago, but it's the truth. Uh, in Charlottesville, it wasn't even a black person. Yeah, publicity mag is actually that was a killed. Fan. Uh, that was killed. Yeah, there was a young lady that was killed. Um, somebody asked me, was that for real or was that just something the media was saying? Nope. There's fucking video. Now, it's horrendous fucking video. I bullshit you now. I watched it. I saw the first clip of the video before they cut it out because the mom didn't want to see it run over and over again because it was her daughter, right? Yeah, it makes sense. They ran this. There was a, a, a white nationalist, racist. He drove. If you, you can check it if you think of bullshit because people always think, oh, you're just making it up to make sure the show is a certain way. No, I'm not. He drove over this woman. Then he backed up over her. He hit five more people. Then he sped off. In mm -hmm. Charlottesville, this really happened. And that's when Trump came out and said, there's good people on uh, both sides. <laughs> that's what he said. That Very that's what fine. He said that. Very fine people on both sides, man. Very fine. Yes, so, yes, yes. yes, so yes, yes see, yeah, you're right. I, I, thought it was, I thought he said good people. It's very fine people on both sides. He did say that. And we've then he said this. he didn't say it. Yeah, he said he didn't say it. We've seen this, uh, and thank you, Lady Hazel May. She said, we love you guys. We're your security guards. <laughs> we appreciate that, baby. But 
you know, we over here building our own, our own little arsenal. Mm -hmm. You know, we doing it. Um, and Eric, uh, Rick shines, bless you too, sir. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, his inability to just, just answer say the question, the, just say the sentence. I renounce white supremacy. But when people are like, just say it, he's like, yeah, I'm against that stuff. I don't, I'm not for any of those things like that. It's like, what are those things like that? Any of that stuff. What's the stuff? Those things. What are those things? All of that. All of what? Everything. Yeah. When you have to do your hand like this, it's fucking crazy. When you have to go, everything. What are you talking about? Everything. And in the debate, he did not say it. And then they asked him on the White House lawn, and this bitch-ass orange sad sack of a man actually said he didn't say it. He absolutely said it. And then his supporters that he's sending out that are from the White House, those little suck-up bitch-ass motherfuckers that need to run hands every time they see me because I swear to God I want to bust them up, they said he didn't say it. Right. The lady on the interview ran the information to Blacks for Trump. You got to look it up. It was Black for Trump on um, CNN. And Correct. she said, oh, he didn't say it. Are you going to tell me he didn't say it? I think that you're the one that's delusional. Roll the tape. And they rolled the tape, and he did say, stand back. Was it stand back, stand by? He stand said, back. Stand, stand down, stand by. Was it stand, stand down? Stand down, stand he by. He did say, yep. But listen, the response was literally, there were guys who were like, today they were like, oh, we thought that we were going to get in order. Like you said, a battle cry uh, at the RNC. We thought we were going to get one last night. Like, when they say stand by, that means get ready to them. That doesn't right. mean... Right, it's like, not... Yeah, stand, thank, stand you. Down, thank you, thank you. Uh. The stand down part doesn't... Isn't what they hear. They hear the stand by, which is... Stand down just means don't shoot right now. Stand by means be ready to shoot when I say. Be ready to act right. Right, when you're I right, say. you're right, you're right. Yep. So yep. That, that, that's, that's what we saw last night. Um, and that's why... You know, Eric today, Rivera so, in the building. Very funny comic. Very, Eric very Rivera. Funny. Yes, sir. Um, but the, but no, the, that, I, that's when, why when I, the Proud being, Boys, the being Proud ready, Boys, being ready. But, yes, the, when the Proud Boys said that shit, I mean, not Proud Boys, when he said that shit with the Proud Boys, um, and they showed some of the, you could literally see uh, Jake Tapper said, this man's disgusting. That was disgusting. This man should not be able to debate. He should be arrested. Because that is inciting violence. And he's in a position where they listen to this motherfucker. People don't wear masks because of this motherfucker. Listen. If you look at his, his rallies, half, no, I'd say half. Did I say half? 95% of the motherfuckers in the audience ain't got masks on. Real no. shit. And so to me, if, and one, they don't give a fuck about themselves. You think they give a fuck about you because of black people? At, yeah. at his rallies, people used to attack black people in the fucking rallies. This footage of people, no, this know. old man, this dude's walking yeah. in the league, he, he, his brother's man. walking in the league, and he he elbows him in the face. That's one of the. That's I, I would have uh, beat the brakes off that bro, old dude. Bro. Yeah, they would, I wouldn't have got out of there alive because I would I would have taken that old man's throat and shown it to him. That nigga, he before he died, he would have seen his own larynx <laughs> with, <laughs> like, with the inside of his fucking hand. like cut, yeah, you know, huh, bitch. Um. Oh, so somebody you got a call. God damn it. Jump back on. Well, Pedro's going to jump back on, but somebody calls. Sometimes it blocks the, the sound, and I can't hear him anymore. So that's what's happening right now. Okay, so uh, Pedro's going to jump back on. We're going to finish off with Savage AF, the uh, late edition, talking about the debate, the election, uh, the fucking – he absolutely said tangent and – he, he lied 17,000 times. Tangerine Hitler lied 17,000 times. That is the truth. Um, and he did give a, basically a kind of like, hey, you guys, hold off until um, I say so. It's my phone. E? No, it's not my phone. Not Pedro. No, my phone. I said my phone. You know, <laughs> I said my phone. It's my phone. I'm waiting for Pedro to jump back on right now. And then we'll finish up. But 
straight talk backup phone chang i every two minutes no it didn't happen it hasn't happened the whole time we've been on for fucking almost an hour what are you talking about so stop it stop it stop it all right we're waiting for pedro to jump back on now and yeah my phone my phone yeah can you pedro hey here we go hey you hear me? still low no idea why it's not my phone. I can't put it on in airplane <laughs> mode when the shit, uh, we when a, we're on this. We need a it backup, won't work. A backup, a backup Blocking the fucking spam done. calls. Also, there was somebody that was on our show that would call. That I don't know how they had my number. They would call my number to purposely fuck up the show. That was the person I blocked. I blocked him. His bitch ass. Yeah. So, you're All very right, low. Hey. Can you not hear me? Hello, hello, hello? I can hear you. It's just very, very low. I have no idea why it does that. But Savage AF, we brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. I know we already did 45 minutes. I'm about to, I got to figure this out because we can't have it. Use a laptop. How do I fucking use a laptop to be on this shit? I would IG. love to do it that way. We got to We got to get you a tablet or something else that you can use. Right, that, well, uh... I, can get, I can get a tablet. You know what I'm saying? I told you I can go in and steal a tablet. What I'll do is I'll go in the Mac store, and when I look at them, I'll say, somebody taking the shit back there, and then I'll get one of those tablets. Walk right Boom. the fuck out. That's the plan. Boom. Go. <laughs> somebody sitting in the back of the store. <laughs> in the DVD somebody section. sitting in the back of the store. And uh, that's what happened. They're shitting. They're nice. shitting in the back of the store. So I can hear you. It's just low. All right, all right. Um, so, so I guess I guess we'll 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 get to wrapping up here. But the the reality is that, um, with with all the things we have talked about tonight, between the the Proud Boys, uh, the debate itself, and, and the changes that need to be made or that we should make, strictly because of one motherfucker, and then and then you know the way that the COVID recession is affecting, not just poor people but certain demographics more than others right like we said like black men black women asians in general latino men uh are, are all being affected more than white men right. and white women um let's all get ready for let's prep ourselves for for more crazy so stock up what you can guys supplies food water things like that um, uh Legally registered weapons, please. Like honestly, legally left registered weapons. I can't weapons. say it enough. If I you can't think say that enough. they give a fuck about us, look at the Breonna Taylor um, <clears throat> verdict. Look at how they how they're going about systematically wanting to deny us from voting. So make sure y'all do what y'all got to do. We won't end it this time. We did an extra hour and eight minutes. So we yeah. thank y'all for staying on Savage AF late night. We will be back. Uh, Tomorrow. Tomorrow is 6, 6, 6 to 7. Pacific Standard Time, y'all. 6 um, to 7 p.m. And, 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 and I will try to figure out why this happens, why we're calling so the sound won't go low. I don't know what to do, but I will figure it out. It's not my phone because my phone works fine. And just, just before we bounce, man, uh, comedian Ida Rodriguez earlier posted um, like a meme or something. Or I think she reposted like she, a screenshot of a tweet that she put up uh, that basically was like, um basically fuck fuck your violence we throw hands too and i was one of many people who responded like this ain't gonna be a hands fight this is not a hands fight you should go to the only black owned gun shop in california at redstone firearms so i, I hit her with that among other people like but just understand yes we throw hands but this ain't a hands fight that we about to get into if we get right. into one so, yeah, learn how to fist the cuffs, but that ain't what the Proud Boys do. They're a, that they're ain't the a, problem. a, a, a fraternity of Western chauvinists, and they, they profess that they like to gather and drink beer and defend, which aren't yep. two things. You're not even supposed to drink and have a gun so or, like, be using one so or carrying one. So that, that you know, it's it's – it's a fucked up situation. Prepare it's yourselves. It's a fucked up situation, but it's happening. You're right. So and, everybody and, and, and find a coalition. Just get ready. Join Hell the Savage no. Nation. We'll see you in a bit. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. I'm sorry about the phone situation. I can, I can hear him. It's just super low. But we will see you tomorrow. And it's fine for you guys. Thank you so much. Later. Sure it is. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>
what a fucking shit show we are living. I'll see you in a minute.